Nice. Sabang brake lang, brake lang. Brake lang, walang park light? Oo, oh, wala. Tapos park light. Park light? Tapos brake. Brake? Yun. Link. Hey guys, good afternoon. So guys, today we're gonna go to Baguio. And I'm gonna vlog this for you. And I'm gonna use this car. So I'm gonna use the Terra. So this is the first time I'm gonna use it on a long trip. Normally I use the Ranger. Uh ko na siya twice at Clark. So today it has 481 kilometers. So siguro by the end of this trip, a little over a thousand. Siguro then I'll have my first 1,000 PMS. So check natin. I don't know kung ano yung sinisan, if they change the oil pag first 1,000 or they just check the car. Just like Honda kasi guys. I remember yung Civic RS ko, yung first 1,000, they just checked the car. They did not replace anything. So, siguro feeling ko yun ang gagawin na na. It's only the first uh, 5,000, I think, that they will replace the oil. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to bring this car. And also, I'm going to tell you uh, what, I'm, what I changed in this car pala. I changed a couple of things. I added a couple of things as well. Um... And I just wanted to share it to you guys. Just in case you want to buy a, a Nissan Terra. And I just also want to tell you how it, you know, how it feels like on long drives. But it's a city, guys. So, brang comfortable. And, of course, when I got the car brand new, don't forget, every brand new car, normally they increase yung PSI ng tire pressure. So, medyo tinitigas nila yan. Just because uh, pag delivery, uh, the bike loses pressure throughout the days or weeks. So, Ang recommended ko is 35 PSI. When I got the car, it was like 42, 41. So, medyo matas. But to be honest, it was still comfortable for me. But nung 35, lumabot talaga yung, yung ride niya even better. Uh, that's why I got the car really, guys. Not for uh, performance. Some people say a little bit sluggish on the first and second gear. To be honest, I don't really drive this car fast just because it's a big car. It's really not built for to be fast. I mean, it can pag sa highway. Pero pag sa city, guys, I, I drive it really chill, relax lang. Normally, my tendency, when I do drive big cars, uh, relax lang. Pero pag maliliit, mga sedans, I drive a little bit faster just because pwede ako sumingit, mas madali for me. But this car is quite big, especially in the front. So, medyo kailang maingat. Uh, but masasanay ka rin. But I love this car. Great car. And later, on the way to Baguio, and when we do uh, land in our destination so we're gonna stay at the uh, Baguio Country Club for the first day the, the first uh, the second second and third day so three days kami uh, we'll stay at the manor so papakita ko rin sa inyo yan we'll do a room tour as well I did a room tour before guys if you watch my vlogs before uh, nag room tour ako ng Baguio Country Club maganda especially the new wing of Baguio Country Club and yeah while we're you know uh at the end of the destination, it will take what, what, 4 hours and 30 minutes. I'll tell you how the car feels, how it drives, uh, and, and also fuel economy. Because uh, now I'm at four, uh, 532 kilometers, in yung sa tank, which is almost full tank. But sometimes you have to reset just to get the accurate uh, range of the car. But ang lakas ng aircon nito guys, sobrang sulit. Uh, that's what Nissan is known for. And other cars, someone malalakas yung aircon. But for some reason, in Nissan, instantly ang lakas. I noticed with uh, European cars before, uh, this was before, the older cars. I remember yung 1997 BMW E36 namin, yung Boston Green. Medyo mahina yung aircon. But the E46, the one that came after, malakas na yung aircon. So I guess they adjusted it because of our climate of course because in Europe it's a little bit cold hey guys so I'll see you in Baguio take us 4 hours and 30 minutes so see you then
Mika. Ah, parang Marius. But I want you to make it big. <laughs> Ganda ng bowl, eh? Oh, nice! The only difference is... Yeah, it doesn't matter. But it's it's a nice room. It's smart TV. This is the new wing. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Hey guys, so today we're here at Europa. So Europa is like Europa Villas, so it's a residential place. It's actually Andrea's uh, condo or villa that they stay here when they go to Baguio. Uh, her family's here, I'm spending time with her, her family, uh, her brothers, and the family now. Uh, the kids of uh, one of his, uh, her brothers. So now, guys, we're gonna let. I'm gonna tell you how it feels like driving this car. So, thank you, guys, pala for watching that video. Uh, I know you guys watched uh, that video. It's almost 8,000 views, I think. So, we're gonna show you what I added in this car. So, guys, since we got this car, I added a few items. Like, if you look closer, here, guys. I changed it to the Bosch Europa horns. So basically, guys, it's the same as the one in the Ranger Wild Track. Remember the Ranger Wild Track? I also showed you those Bosch Europa horns. So I replaced that. So yun yun. So you could really see it. Dalawa siya. Very good. Guys, I'll show you underneath. Andrea will have to scoot a little bit. So guys, this is what you call the engine guard underneath. So it's made out of metal. And normally, they sell it red pero pina spray paint ko ng black so it says terra yan guys that's to protect the underneath of the engine sa mga pato so it is perfect para let's say especially in Baguio guys alam mo naman yung, yung roads natin uh, roads sa Baguio medyo winding and sometimes there are chances baka sumayad ka so that will protect uh, rocks chips whatever whatever's on the road napapasok sa ilalim ng makina to protect it and that cost, guys, yung, I think that costs around 3,000 pesos, which is not bad, guys. That's a good investment to protect your engine sa ilalim. Don't forget, hindi lang sa taas ng makina, but sa ilalim rin ng engine. See you, guys. Asensyo na madumi. Of course, Baguio took us around almost five hours. Kasi when we went up to Baguio, guys, it was kind of mula na malakas. So, kailangan medyo mabagal ka, guys. When you drive... Uh, in rainy conditions, don't drive too fast. The we have to be safe. Hey okay, guys, so this one I added, just like the Ranger Wild Track. So we added this one. This is the Hippo Tech um, uh, window visor. So like normal window visors, kasi guys, nagadikit yun sa doors. So this one we integrated it in the window. So ipiti mo lang siya, then you cure it after five days. Yeah. So maganda siya, diba? It's very seamless. And the tint, guys, if you notice, dark siya. So, I changed it to, to super dark ceramic tint. So, this is the Casa medium tint. Pero this one, guys, is the ceramic super dark. So, ako naman, guys, ever since I was young, sanay ako to drive uh, with dark tints. Uh, I like dark tints kasi pag summer. Especially pag summer, guys, sobrang inat. So, that's what I added. Then, let's look at the back. I did add something very subtle guys, very very subtle, which is this one. So when you buy the Nissan Terra, ano siya? Black lang siya, it's like a cover. So this one acts as a fourth brake light. But it's not a fog light, kasi the reason why I ko ng fog light, kasi it's, it's too bright. So ginawa kong brake light siya. And later, I'll, I'll show you how it looks like sa video. Uh, it really looks good guys, actually. Tapos, I replace the lights here. Actually, on ko. On ko yung lights para makikita. Maybe if you could stand there, then I'll break. Okay. So they can see. Okay, now brake light.
guys. This one, if you could see, that's already LED, so I replaced it. Because it's so stock, guys, it's halogen. Then, I'll also show you what we did inside. Because, you know, Peter, pinaka importante, me and Andrea wanted to replace this car. Actually, add, not replace. Then, guys, I bought this. Um, this is how do you call this? Organizer. So, if you open, I have my shoes here. Tapos, this is my cleaning products for the car. So, meron ka microfiber. This is for plastic. This is for watermark and for wax. So, nilalagay ko lang dito so it's organized. So, you can also use this for food or whatever. And Velcro siya. So, nakadikit siya. And it looks neat. You could just cover it. So, guys, even this is LED nga pala. Tapos... I'm gonna really show you the interior because that's the biggest change, guys, in the interior. So let's check it out. Let's look up the. So if you notice, leather na siya. So look at the way yung leather niya seats siya. Oh. So basically, ginaya namin dito sa liter. I'll show you here. Oh. So if you look. If you buy this stock, guys, ganito yung leather ng armrest sa front. So what we did, we uh, told the shop that did this, which is I'll I'll put the Facebook ba uh, page, guys, uh, sa ano sa, uh, sa sa video na to 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 ano, kasi they really did a good job with the seats. I think it's called what's it called? Then? Mega Mega Seat Trading something. Anyway, I'll put I'll put the. I'll put the, what do you call this? The Facebook page in this video. Alan will put it. Para guys, they really do a good job. And guys, it's not just a simple cover. Kasi, what they do, habang kinakabit nila to, they tinatahi nila para talagang fit na fit. See? Like, it's like, you, you could see na parang top of the line VL and Sport variant ng, ng Nissan Terra. Of course, the VL and Terra meron siyang diamond stitching. This one's just a OEM look. But very good quality, and it only costs ten thousand for the seats, and for the sidings, which hindi ko paginagawa kasi it takes two days, so that will cost four thousand. So fourteen thousand, guys. Ang ganda ng pagkagawa. It's like parang kasa lang, really, really good quality. The people who and I'm gonna mention the names also. I'll tell Alan to put their names. Um, they really did a good job. Um, it's in BF, BF. Uh, the address naman is in the Facebook page but sobrang galing ng uh, what they did their craftsmanship they really are passionate with what they do and they could do different colors but they're in two tone depende sa design they could do a lot of things guys and they could suggest what's good for your car specifically kasi sometimes meron so, uh, there are clients na gusto uh, a certain design siguro hindi bagay sa porche so they'll tell you naman but look, really nice, comfortable, going to Baguio, the car had no problems. Siguro from Makati uh, in Magallanes, all the way to Baguio, hindi pa one half of the full tank ang naubos. And that's kasama ng konting traffic. Because nagka-traffic kami a little going to Pampanga. Kasi there was a, ano ba, salo-salo. Parang festival, there was a festival guys. So, medyo, there was a portion sa bridge na traffic So, yun. So, medyo na traffic kami ni Kote. And going up, kasi umulan na malakas. So, the cargo trucks na paakit ng Baguio, medyo mabagal. So, medyo kailangan mag-ingat kapag nag-overtake. Kasi alam mo naman, di ba, when you go to Baguio, there's a lot of winding roads. So, kailangan mag-ingat. So, guys, also this, Andrea will show you here. If you open the sun visor, pinalit ko na ng LED. So, this, guys, I got it sa Lazada. It's really hard to find this bulb, guys. And uh, buti na lang sa Lazada. And it only costs 40 pesos or 45 pesos isang bulb. So I bought four. Par pag napundi yung dalawa. Ayan na. So LED na siya. Kasi sa stock, guys, it was halogen. So very nice. Very nice add-on to it. Tapos, guys, dito sa doors. Right underneath. LED na rin. I replaced it also. All the four doors have LED. So, nice and white na siya. And if you're asking if kasha ang ganitong flask, kasha ang kasha. No problem. So, this Terra has been very good. 
Sabi ng iba, medyo mas matakal daw siya sa fuel compared to Montero Fortuna. I think it, it's because this car is a little bit heavier. But, pero for me, honestly, for this size of car and for the space and how much people it can carry, matipid na siya for me. But for other people, siguro na nasanay sa ibang SUV na diesel, matakaw siya ng konti. Siguro, give or take 1 to 2 kilometers more than. But, depending on how you drive the car. But, suspension, very comfortable. Andrea uh, is comfortable in the passenger. I was comfortable. But, um, in 5 hours, medyo sumakit ng konti yung likod ko. That's to be honest. Uh, the seats are not the most comfortable. Siguro, if you get the VL and Sport, which they have the zero gravity seats. I don't know guys, uh, comment down below if uh, you've driven the, the VLN Sport, kung ano ba, comfortable ba siya. But for me, 5 hours kasi it's a long drive. So kahit anong yatang kotse, kasi even my, the Audi, the BM, if you drive it for a long time, sasakit na naman likod mo. Diba? Kasi that's why I suggest, if you drive on long trips, take a rest, like go somewhere, eat, um, to a restaurant or somewhere, take a break for like 30 minutes, then mag drive ulit kayo para hindi kayo mapagod. But yun guys, very very good and this has uh, 740 kilometers now so yung first 1,000 and the first 5,000 is free PMS ng Nissan. Nissan BGC pala to galing. I don't know with other branches but we got it in Nissan BGC kasi malapit naman sa atin. And I'm very very happy with this car. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you uh, clips of the installation of the seats pala. I did video them uh, and uh, to be honest, uh, Otep, right? This is his name, Alex. Yes. Otep yung pangalan ng owner ng, ng shop na yan. It's in BF. Uh, bahay lang siya, guys. And you just park your car there. There's a coffee shop nearby and it will take around two hours, two to three hours, depending on the car. Uh, pag van, medyo mas matagal. I think pag van, I suggest you leave the car there. Or then you go back siguro after 5 to 6 hours. Medyo matagal-tagal lang ba? But this one took 2 hours. Very, very good. Malinis sila. After nila ikabit, lilinis ang panila yan. They have a product that they sell na papahid mo once a month lang. Just to maintain the leather. Guys, really good quality. And it took him, oh, tip, sa story niya, it took him 1 year to perfect the materials kasi guys hindi lang madali kasi he went all the way to China to pick the materials yung leather kung anong pwedeng ikabit sa mga kotse yung mananahi kasi niya there's a, there's, there's a reason why um, magaling yung quality niya because even he, he had to go to China so story ni Otep tapos even the sewing machine na dito sa Pilipinas kailangan kaya ng material na to so, it's, hindi lang basta-basta yung biomaterial. Tapos, ikapit mo sa sewing machine, then yung mananay mo. Hindi. Kasi some of the thread won't go through kasi sa sobrang kapal. So, there's a reason why uh, magaling siya. And if you look at his Facebook page, you'll see from PBA players all the way to artista, they all go to him. Kasi nga, quality and price. Those are the two things. Quality and price all the time. And also, He's, he's, he's very passionate sa ginagawa niya. So I really thank him. And guys, just contact him dire diretso, not to me. Kasi it's not my business. I'm just really happy with what he did with the car. And I, I really will do that to other cars if I do buy other cars. Kung wala silang leather seats, papalagay ko na lang ng ganito. So yung sidings na lang guys, ito na lang itatapos. So what they do is they remove the whole thing. Tapos, they'll have to integrate the leather dito. It will take two days. So, yeah, guys. So, thanks for watching another vlog. Hindi na ako, nag-stay na ako dito kasi comfortable. You know what? I haven't uh, driven, you know, I haven't let anybody drive this car and me sit at the back. Siguro one time, I would want to sit at the back on a long road trip. Kasi nakakapagod rin to drive, guys. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Andrea, for being my camera woman. She's super... Nice to do that for me. And you guys, the Nissan Terra, perfect car for long trips. That's my honest opinion about the car. And there are other cars out there. But the reason why we got this car is because of its comfort. And its space is second row. And of course, yung aircon guys, sobrang lakas. But you don't need that in Baguio. But yeah, pagdating namin sa Manila, the aircon is fantastic. So guys, I'll see you on my next vlog. Thanks for watching. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.